Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all folks in between, and welcome to another episode of Aunt Millicent's Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, y'all. Uh, it is November, and I just have to make a special Thanksgiving edition of the show. I have a lot of things to be thankful for this year. That's been a great year for me. Uh, I started my show back in January, and here we are on, we're over 30 episodes now, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I've got some new hair going on here, so I'm very happy about that, too. Uh, the old one that got a little deflated, I think it got a leak, um, so the air went out of it. Um, anyway, um, so today, to actually kick off this Thanksgiving show, we're going to make a Thanksgiving meal. Now, one of the biggest pains about Thanksgiving is having to spend hours and hours in the kitchen and dollars and dollars and dollars at the grocery store. I want to show you guys how to make a full Thanksgiving meal for four, maybe five or six if you don't pick out too much. Uh, for about under $30, okay? Um, so um, if you stick with me, we'll have all the accoutrements of Thanksgiving and it will taste just like Thanksgiving and it will be delicioso and believe it or not, it's going to be relatively easy. And I'm all about being easy in the kitchen. Believe me, ask anybody who knows me. Um, so anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to apron up and we're going to get started. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to go through um, all the um, all we're serving and the ingredients. Not as hard as it looks. Okay, so you're going to need um, one of these guys. This turkey, uh, it's a um, it's a turkey breast tenderloin. We're not going to make the whole turkey. Um, the turkey turkeys are odd for Thanksgiving because people either really love them or they hate them or they just don't want to bother with them. They're a big pain to cook um, and they take forever to cook. This is a tenderloin. It cooks in one hour. Okay. I promise you it gives you the best turkey taste you can get um, and it's all breast. There's no waste. There's no bones. Uh, there's no turkey for days. Uh, there's turkey sandwiches, turkey salad. Uh, so this little guy right here, this is the most expensive part of your meal, by the way. Uh, but the, the standard turkey loin, you can get this uh, near the turkey section. There's plenty here for, you know, four people at least. And um, that's my solution to turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now for our ingredients, you can obviously vary a lot, but here's what I'm going to make for my Thanksgiving. And I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. I've never made mashed potatoes on this show before. So obviously you're going to need some mashed potatoes. Get yourself some milk and some butter. Okay. And those are cooking essentials. So we're going to get into that and I'll show you how to make some fantastic mashed potatoes from scratch. Okay. They're really easy to make. If you really want to do it, you can get some uh, instant potatoes. Don't do it not worth it. They, the instant are just not the same in my opinion. Okay. It's fine though if you do. Okay. Okay. Next thing I want to put on my Thanksgiving table is uh, some green beans. I I bought these for convenience. You could put this little bag in the microwave, punch a hole in it, four minutes later, beans. Good to go. Okay. You can also get just snap beans from the store um, and snap them. Okay. And, and put them in a, in a boiler or um, a steamer and you'll have snap beans later and they'll be really great. So however you want to do your beans is cool. If you don't want beans, leave them out and put another vegetable in there. It's all good, okay? Um, next thing, um, you can't have Thanksgiving without some uh, stuffing. So um, about whatever stuffing you like and just follow the directions on the box. So this thing requires um, a fourth of a cup of butter and some water and that's it. This isn't really cooking. This is more like warming something up on the stove, okay? And then the final two things, and this is so easy to deal with. Just get yourself some cranberry sauce. Not everybody likes it. Just, or not the cran, um, what is it? I'm sorry. Yeah, cranberry sauce, jelly cranberry sauce. Just get the can. Don't sweat it. And good old can gravy. I know that it's not exactly authentic, but we're not going to have any kind of, uh, you know, leftovers from this, this turkey breast to make anything but, you know, this. So we're going to stick with this um, canned turkey gravy. And believe me, most of your guests won't know the difference, okay? So I've added all these ingredients up and it's about, um, I got like $27 and change roughly. Okay. You can cut here or add there or what have you. So, but for overall for Thanksgiving, I think it's kind of a bargain, especially if you're not having a whole lot of people over and you know, and the, these days people are staying further apart and for lots of reasons, I guess, but, um, you know, it, it, it easily feeds four people, uh, comfortably. Okay. And if you want to, you can even add a dessert. Um, there are delicious frozen pies and apple, and um, I can get an apple pie or a pumpkin pie. And you can even get some ice cream. It's like $10 for both. And that'll serve four to six easily. So 
Another $10 on top of that, you can serve a wonderful dessert. Or you can pick some of the desserts below on my channel. A hint, hint, hint. Okay, so those are all great too. Um, so without further ado, let's go through this Thanksgiving thing and we'll get started, okay? Okay, y'all, I've got my turkey uh, pulled out of the uh, plastic container. Those are the two loins. And I'm going to throw a little bit of Lowry salt on it. You can season it any way you feel like it. It's all good. And I want to put the lid on this, and it's going in the oven, okay? Um, it said on my uh, instructions to do 325 for an hour. So that's an hour where you can go put your feet up, um, have a glass of wine, read a book, watch television, whatever you got going on. But you don't have to do a thing with this. Just leave it in there, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'll be back. Okay, well, we're ready to make our mashed potatoes. I've never made these on the show, so I'm going to go through the steps. First thing, put yourself, um, I don't know, about a pot like this, about half of it full of water. And we're going to put it on the stove, okay? That's the first step. Okay, now that we've got the pot on the stove, uh, turn the heat up and get it boiling. It gets to that nice rolling boil. We're ready to boil potatoes. So I've taken my potato bag, and I've picked some beauties out of here. Probably about half the bag. Um, probably, let's see, it looks like i got about eight, but I've got a smaller one here. So, uh, But it should be a nice, you know, bolus of potatoes. So we're going to pull these out, and we're going to peel them, okay? And we, then after we peel them, we'll wash them real good. And chop them and boil them okay and after that we will whisk them in our um mixer and our and food processor mixer and then we'll have mashed potatoes just like that so let's get started i forgot some of you may not know how to peel a potato so um what i do is i get a nice sharp knife and i just watch the edge as i go around so i don't cut my finger okay and cut the skin off okay and by the way if you leave the skin on um it's not the end of the world um skinned on mashed potatoes are pretty daggum good uh, you probably want to go through and cut the eyes off. That'll make a nice hard um, thing uh, that you don't want to bite down on. Uh, but we, we, we've we done it both ways. It doesn't really matter. But just go around the edge like that and peel the skin off. Um, and by the way, you do not have to have these red potatoes. You can buy the golden. Uh, you can even peel uh, russet potatoes or baking potatoes. Uh, either way, whatever you can get, get something that's on sale or something you like. Okay, it's all good. Okay, um, there goes my tea. So that's how you peel a potato. Okay, so do that. Okay, y'all, now that we got them all um, peeled, we got to chop them up. So we're going to chop them up into pieces, you know, I don't know, cut them in halves and halves again. And, you know, you want them small so they boil nice and evenly, okay? So let me get on that. Now that we've got our potatoes chopped up, go ahead and your water should be boiling. If it's not, just wait. And, ouch, we're going to put all those in there. Um, just shove them in. And stand by for directions. I think I missed one. X. <laughs> there we go. All right, so all those guys are in there. Um, let them come back to a boil. And I would probably boil them for about 20 minutes or so. After about 20 minutes, you can check them, okay? And what you need to do is open, uh, go get yourself like a wooden spoon. And if, if you can cut one of those potatoes with a wooden spoon, they are completely cooked through. So that's going to be our little check, okay? So again, about 20 minutes or so. Um, let them come to a nice heavy, heavy duty boil. And then after about 20 minutes or so, get yourself a wooden spoon. And if you can cut one of those potatoes with a piece of wood, a wooden spoon, they're done. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the uh, magic mixer. Okay. So hang out. All right. We have about 20 minutes that has elapsed and I have checked my potatoes and they are nice and soft. So it's time to go in the, uh, the mixer here. Um, so there they are. Uh, I've put those in there and I've, I've drained them of all their water. Okay. Now, the first thing you're going to do um, is you're going to add some milk. Okay. And you know what? I don't know if I've ever actually measured out how much goes in here. But what you want to do is put enough in there where you can just kind of see a little bit at the bottom. It's kind of an odd measure. But you, you don't want to bury this thing in milk. This isn't a bowl of cereal. Okay. So I, I think I put about a half a cup there. Okay. And now the next thing I'm going to do is the butter. And I have to cut it up. So hold on a sec. So I'm going to put four um, tablespoons of butter in here. You can put the whole thing in there. It should be hot enough to melt it. And then finally, um, as much salt and pepper as you're comfortable with. Some people like a lot. Some people like a little. There's a little bit of salt and a little more. And I'm going to add ground pepper just because I like it. Okay. 
Now we're ready to whip. So put your um, device in your whisk. Start slowly because it'll kick it out of there if you're not careful. There we go. At some point or another, um, you probably have to come in here and push the potatoes down. They tend to slide up on the side of my mixer anyway. Okay, so don't be afraid to stop it and don't put your knife or spoon in there when the whisker's going. That not not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so um, you can um, mix this up and it will be nice and whipped. They will be delicioso. Okay. So now that our potatoes are done, we still have, uh, at least I still have about 10 minutes left for my turkey uh, is done. So what I want to do is I've got two saucepans here. First thing I want to do is make the stove top. Um, just follow the directions on the side. Um, you're, if you buy a different kind of dressing, your directions may vary. Basically, if you've never made stove top or any kind of dressing, you just warm up some water and butter and wait till it gets to a rolling boil and put this, what's in the box in there and turn it off. Put a cover on it, leave it alone for a few minutes. That's dressing. No sweat. Okay. And then um, you've seen I've got another saucepan over here um, with my gravy already pre-warmed. Okay. And just, just pour the can in there. That's, sorry. <laughs> that is like super easy. Okay. And then your final ingredient, which we haven't touched yet, is is your easy vegetable for me. Um, I've got my, my green beans here. And these guys, you can microwave them for four minutes. Uh, 35, it says 35 minutes and let it stand. Uh, and just punch a hole in the bag. And you're done. Okay. How's that for Thanksgiving quickness? Okay. Okay, y'all. It is time for the big turkey reveal. Um, so I just pulled him out. He's still pretty hot. And there he is baked and there's his own turkey juice and two loins. Okay. If you slice that up, it will be absolutely delicioso. So I think I'm finished, believe it or not, cooking. So this will be a good time to make a dessert if you want to. I'm going to leave that up to you um, and whatever you want to do with that. But I mean, like I say, I made this whole meal. Um, I think I said what it was, was under $30 roughly. Um, and if you have like four people there, that's going to end up, you know, seven bucks a person. That's relatively cheap, I think. Um, so anyway, uh, let's dig into this. I'm hungry and it's Thanksgiving time and I'll meet you in the dining room. Okay, well, we made it to the dining room and I have my delicious Thanksgiving mini feast in front of me. My turkey and my homemade uh, mashed potatoes. And okay, my store-bought stuffing and my pre-prepared beans but um i think we'll forgive ourselves just for now just for you know the sake of convenience i'm gonna try my mashed potatoes and they're fantastic so um i hope you enjoy um this show and I hope you make your own thanksgiving maybe for the first time you never know um this time of year is rough on a lot of folks um some folks don't go home for all kinds of reasons um and um know that you know you need to have some sort of um festival of gratitude you have your friends over it doesn't matter home is where you are that's all that really matters and you know you need to celebrate okay and please keep in mind this time of year is especially rough for folks uh who are less fortunate and please uh, take time to donate to your local food banks okay so with that note i wish you all the best i wish you all a very beautiful and thankful thanksgiving and um bon appetit